Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in today's class we are going to cover medical legal aspects of injury. So we have covered few lectures on injury and in today's lecture we are going to cover medical legal aspects which is related to injury and we will see broad classification of injuries as well. We have already uh, seen classification of injuries earlier but today it is more compact okay. So before starting today's class a quick revision of the definition injury. So on the basis of IPC Indian Penal Code section 44 says that injury is any particular harm to the body, mind and reputation or harm in property or an individual. So this collectively is known as injury. Along with the definition, classification, general description of injuries is also important with regards to the various medical legal aspect of injuries and different important IPCs which deals with these injuries okay so let's see a broad classification so we can classify injuries into two heads okay mechanical and thermal so mechanical injuries again includes aberration contusion laceration stab injury incised injury firearm injury whereas thermal injury is bone scars Phosphite, chemical burns, radial burns, electric burns. So these are the different classes of thermal injury and mechanical injury. Now we have some medico legal importance. Now what is medico legal? When we talk about medico legal, so here we have two terms. First term is medico and the other term is, so this is the first term and legal is the second term. So in the legal area, how we can identify these uh, injuries medically okay so basically medical legal is the aspect in which we can identify if some particular injury is suicidal homicidal or accidental okay because we have to conclude what type of injury is like we can see for example we have aberration and this aberration is induced homicidically suicidally or um, accidentally like that so these are some medical legal things. Now let's briefly understand medical legal classification on the basis of few grounds. Okay, so on the basis of severity, on the basis of mode of death, it's together mode of death and moment of death. So based on the severity, we have simple and grievous injuries. Okay, then based on mode of death, we have suicidal, homicidal, and accidental, and these three modes of a death are really very important when we talk about medical legal importance then we have on the basis of death anti-mortem or post-mortem so this is before death it is really very important to identify if the injury is before death and after death okay so these are few classification few medical legal classification of injuries on the basis of severity we have simple and grievous then we have mode of death suicidal homicidal and accidental and then we have based on moment of death that is anti-mortem or post-mortem okay now we are set to understand some important medical legal some medical legal importance of injuries so first we will talk about incised injuries or incised wounds. So they are made up of sharp edge weapons and they have a clear cut and it clearly separates the tissues. Length of the injury is greater than depth. This statement is really very important. I am marking star here because this is really very important. Length of the injury is greater than depth. The medical legal importance of incised wounds are the nature of weapon can be confirmed on the basis of sharp. It's so, for example, blade makes incised injury. So anything, any object which have really sharp edges will make incised wounds. That's why the length will be greater than the depth. Okay. Determination of age of the injury was possible and it is possible we can identify the age of injury so that injury is four days old five days old one week old one month old etc the direction of application force can be determined from the tail of the wound we can even identify the direction for example if identify uh, if the direction is the left to right okay so tail would be at the right side so this is tailing so in the tail the 
injury becomes narrower narrower and narrower so this is known as tail here you can see the blunt edge and here you can see sharp pointed tail like structure so this is tailing of wound and incised injuries contain tailing of wound it have tailing of wound so sometimes question comes uh, which type of injuries which type of injuries might contain tailing of wound so this is in the incised injury homicidal incised wounds are really very frequent so the nature of these wounds are really very common in homicidal type of injury or homicidal type of interaction or attack next we have aberration so aberration is the type of injury when we fell from bicycle or bike or from any two wheeler vehicle the type of injury we get in our knees usually so we all had aberrations in our childhood when we used to ride bicycles right or uh, like two wheeler vehicles etc so aberrations are the blunt force injury which result in the destruction of superficial layer of epidermis okay so the affected part are affected parts are superficial layer of epidermis layer a pure aberration rarely bleeds and it is a two dimensional injury this is 2d injury it is two dimensional and it rarely bleeds okay the medical legal significances are age of injury can be determined pattern aberration can used to uh, in with the help of pattern injuries pattern aberration we can identify the type of weapon used aberrations on the face of suspect can indicate struggle so if aberration patterns are present in the victim's face or in suspect's face then it means there must have been some struggle between them then we have suicidal aberrations are rare so aberrations are not included in suicidal type of um thing they are often seen in accidents or in homicides okay so it can be seen in uh, homicides of homicide type of attack and an accidental injury but it is rare or it is not even possible in suicidal type of thing then we have laceration so laceration okay aberration then we have laceration laceration are tearing or splitting of skin mucous membrane or internal organs okay this is caused by blunt force on the body tissue or skin lacerations are three dimensional and they have margins which is uneven and irregular which even represent the type of uh, weapon which is used okay so these type of injuries are 3d and more severe one aberrations are not severe injuries as compared to laceration so laceration are severe injuries they do have 3d um they have 3d injury you can say and medical legal aspects are these injuries can indicate the shape and blunt the shape of the blunt weapon of course the weapon would be blunt determination of age is unaffected laceration is quite useful foreign bodies found in the wound site might help reconstruction of the circumstances during commission of the crime these wounds are generally seen in the accidents and assaults laceration are generally considered grievous injuries as i said these type of injuries are more serious one and they have like major impact on the victim or in perpet or to perpetrator we can say so this is a serious type of injury this is grievous type of injury and if some foreign bodies are present in the injury for example some grass or pollen or flower or leaf or dust or uh, fibers or hairs or etc if these type of bodies are present in the wound then we can uh, somehow somehow uh, reconstruct the commission of crime, circumstances of the commission of crime then we have stab wound stab wounds are those type of wounds in which popular reader uses a sharp weapon and it just uh, pierces the skin bone or tissue okay so stab wounds are mechanical injuries which have depth and they have the greatest depth as compared to length and they have some dimensions when we compare the length and breadth they can be produced by knives daggers swords and medical legal um, aspects are stab wounds are majorly homicidal and suicidal really very important okay accidental even in it like as compared to homicidal and suicidal homicidal wounds are more common when we talk about stab wounds accidental wounds are very infrequent it is really very rare 
accidental wounds are not sharp wounds the depth of the wound shall signify the penetration force so the greater the force the greater the penetration would be age of injury can be estimated of course shape of the wound helps classify the type and class of weapon which is used during the attack for example length width thickness of weapon whether it is single edged or double edged are characteristics of the study so this is really very important okay next we have burn injuries so these are the type of injuries which is produced on the body by the application of dry heat like flame fire or radiation so please keep this thing mind this please keep this thing in mind that the type of heat here is dry and now medical legal importance presence of smoke of the respiratory passage of the victim indicates he and she was alive when the fire started raised carboxy hemoglobin in the blood because of the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide concentration the percentage of an exceed from 10% presence of red line in the ad adjacent region region adjacent region sorry adjacent regions around the bone injuries then we have contusion contusion is a type of injury when you uh, punch someone and then blue um, blue injury comes so that is contusion so it is a fusion of blood into the tissue due to the rupture of the vessels beneath the skin especially capillary so capillary get bursted and the capillary capillary releases the blood and because of that we see the blue discoloration on the skin or on the face or on hands or anywhere in the body this is self inflicted self inflicted bruises are rare it is not common okay contusions can be homicidal suicidal and accidental okay and then we have shape and size of bruises which is similar to the nature of weapons so we can even sometimes link different weapons to the injuries as well age of injury can be determined again okay so these are some important uh, medical legal important so these are some important points which is related to medical legal thing then we have firearm wounds so it includes both entrance and exit wounds the wounds are very sharp and they the size depending on the range of shooting velocity of projectile and the target site so it depends on that here we have like suicidal firearm wounds are often indicated by the firearm in the hands of the victim due to cadaveric spasm so most of the time if the firearm injury is a suicidal then the person would have uh, the firearm in his or her and uh, hand and it just get fixed because of cadaveric spasm that is stiffening of the body accidental firearm injuries are rare nature of firearm can be determined for instance whether it is smooth bore or rifled homicidal and suicidal injuries are common homicidal are more range and direction of firing can be calculated on the basis of the type of injury and the characteristics that injury has then uh, when we talk about electric burn so this is because it passes through the body when it it causes various effects such as muscular spasm contract burns contact bones and severe charring and uh, medical legal aspects of suicidal electrocution are rare it is really very rare it is not even possible but might occur in mentally unsound people so this can happen when a person is mentally unsound homicidal electrocutions are more frequent electrocutions via through accident also happens for instance circuit may pass through any of the limbs to the hands and it led paralysis of respiratory centers the site of entrance may be diagnosed histochemically by seeing the deposition of metal metal particles on the skin so we can even identify from where it started an arm to arm circuit or left arm to either log sorry left arm either leg involved involves heart death occurs due to ventricular fibrillation or cardiac arrest with fibrillation so these are some important characteristic feature or uh, medical legal aspects of electric current or electric bones so i hope this lecture is helpful to you guys and if this is helpful you can click the like button and share it with your friends seniors and juniors and we are done with the topic which was medical legal aspects of injury thank you so much for watching this if you want to join any of our classes related to forensic science criminology and any type of scientific officer classes these classes are available in our official application link is in the description and our whatsapp support number is again given in the description box so you can text us there as well thank you so much again see you guys in the next
next video with another topic till then take care bye